welcome back episode 23 and I've made it all the way through the manual and I've got the first two phases of the rope work done so that's exciting for me hopefully it's exciting for you too I'll give you a quick tour of the ship and then I'll go into details that I ran into nothing major but there are a couple issues if you're going to build this ship that I can give you a heads up on and I'll cover those small things in the rest of the video plus at the end of the video I will be announcing my next ship build I will probably complete this ship in the next full episode episode 24 I believe that'll be the rest of the rope work and before that I'm going to go on a short vacation I'm going to take the characters like the little man here that's up on the crow's nest and I hope to get those painted so I'll be able to put those in position also so that'll be episode 23 and then in the next day or two right before I leave I'm going to post the unboxing of the next ship I'm going to build but if you stay tuned at the end of this video I'll make an announcement as to what it's going to be here's the rope work This is the lower half of page one and I wanted to put in these blocks here and they're uh, block number 42. It's a square pulley, single pulley, and each of the mast has one. On this drawing it appears like one would go towards the front and one will go towards the back. I think that's just so you can see it here because really it should go to the side. Much like the yards, you know, they would not go front to back of the ship so just realize that because you're going to go from one of these down to the end of the yard and then all the way down to one of the belaying pins while working on the rope work I noticed a subtle thing and if I were a more experienced shipbuilder I think I would know this but at the different points on the mast there are additional those uh, number 42 uh, single blocks if you look real carefully there are two there there are two there there are a couple here a couple here two here two way over here and those will be used on the second page and if you look closely it's hard to see but some of the rope work off of the sails and those suspension units go into those and then drop straight down to the ship. So that's something to be aware of. I've got two in place there and two more down below. I'm very pleased with how it's looking. It's starting to look semi-professional. I think I figured out the reason you put the blocks here. It's so you can pull these lines inward so they can go straight down to the belaying pins. I hope that kind of makes sense to you. This I call phase two of the rope work. I'm just going to give one example. But if you look on the main mast, the end of this yard, you're going to attach a rope here. It's going to go down and it's going to stop with a number 42 block you do the same thing on the other side see where it stopped then the rope line that goes through here and here actually let me go ahead and draw or highlight this here and here that looks like it ties to the rear mast this one goes down and if you look close there are two more of those blocks right here and your second line okay again this is the the V shape that I was talking about 
it goes from this block down to the same point and you see there's two blocks there the other line is also going to go to the back mast and tie off then each pass through these uh, two blocks that are tied to this rope that would already be in place and then they go down to let me try and look one goes I believe to 16 and the other 49 so you see there what you do next is you take those numbers this is the second page but I call this phase three but you find the ship and then you find as an example 16 one will be on this side and the other one will be on the opposite side of the ship that all works fine until you get to these two down here those don't exist in the kit they're numbers 34 35 36 and 37 so I made those parts I'll show you in a second and these three back here also were not in the kit I should say six and it was awfully tight to get them in so I moved them back to the top of the stairs right in here so let me show you that the ones that I added on each side those two and then these three and there are also three more on the opposite side this trio here shown on the drawings would actually go down in here between the stairs it was just too tight to work with in there so I moved it above the stairs that brings to a close phase one and phase two so now I will begin what I refer to as phase three to get the rope work around the, the belaying pins I made this I just took a dowel rod nice long one probably 12 inches and drilled a hole stuck in a wire twisted the wire and you can see there's just a little V shape right there and that made it a lot easier to get those ropes underneath and around the belaying pins ship I'm going to build is the Black Pearl all scenario version if you're not familiar with this particular ship it has multiple deck levels and incredible detail this package weighs over 16 pounds some important information this is a ZHL model don't be fooled by imitators finish size of this particular ship is going to be 980 millimeters by 368 millimeters by 523 millimeters the scale is 1 to 50 that's it for episode 23 it's in the books very pleased with how it's turned out and 24 and the final episode is coming soon as always thanks for following along and thanks for watching